Hey guys, look! It's a snow day! Woohoo! Snow is falling down fast and furious, and a snow day is a great day for a craft. So let's come on over here. First of all, let me show you Oziandra and her outfit of the day. She's looking so cute in purple. She's got a little purple knit hat with a gold ribbon and then a little um, pale lavender onesie with pink flowers. And then I love this little outfit, a great outfit for a snow day. It's purple corduroy and it's got some little flowers on it. It's little matching pants. And then she's got socks that have, I think it's supposed to be Belle on them or some kind of princess anyway. So she's in the car seat watching me work over here. So let's see if I can fix the tripod so I'm not wiggling you guys all over creation while I'm working. But today I'm actually going to um, take Ozandra's crib, our cradle, which my husband made and we painted pink. And I want to leave it pink, um, but I want to put some purple accents because this has uh, become Ozandra's per permanent um, place. And so it just it just needs some purple accents. So I'm going to do some purple flowers. And for these purple flowers, you're going to need two shades of your color, a lighter shade and a darker shade. You'll need something for the center of your flower. I chose white, but you could easily use black or brown or another color. Um, you want it to be quite a contrasting color. And then you can use the same method that I'm using to make the flowers to make leaves. You're going to need to let the flowers dry first and then come back over and do the leaves. So you're going to need the same thing. You're going to need a dark and a light color of green. And if you're going to do vines and stuff, again, you do that after you would painted the flowers. You would need a thin brush. Um, again, that's something I'm going to do later. But to make the leaves and the flowers, you're going to need a wide, flat brush like this and then you'll also need a paper plate foam works well because um, it's not going to soak through <coughs> so I'm actually going to put flowers in lots of different places I'm going to put some on the foot and some on the head and I'm going to start with right here in the middle Let's see I can make this oh I bumped you guys there we go. I'm going to get it in a nice stable position. Oh, oh goodness. So here's my palette. And then I've got my two colors here. And you just want to run a, a line of one color. See that? That's the lighter color. And then right next to it, a line of the darker color right next to each other. I think the light is so bright there, looking like the same color, but they, they really are the light and the dark. And then I'm just going to bring my brush once. I'm not going to mix it or muddy it or go in circles. I'm just going to do one swipe. So basically I get kind of half of my brush filled with the light and half with the dark. This is going to make a flower that already has kind of um, a shadow or an accent color. It's going to look more like, I don't know, dimensional, I guess. I don't know. Right. So just like that. I don't know if you can see, dark and light. I'm going to start on the, in the middle, just about here. And I'm going to hold my brush. Whoop. I'm going to hold my brush straight up and down, Ooh, straight up and down like this, and draw sort of like a, an elliptical shape. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Do it again. Almost like drawing bunny ears. And then one more. 
Awesome. You want your flowers to have um, an odd number of petals. Usually best. I'm going to do a little bit more. Oh, can you see way up here? down here and get some. Do the same thing down here. See that with this brilliant light bulb. It's so bright and I think it's kind of washing things out a little bit. So now I'm going to come back over right here in the middle and do the middle one again. Do some more of the middle. One of the rules in design is that you always do things in odd numbers. So I'm putting, um, you know, one on each end of the um, crib and then three in the middle. Kind of a big one and then a couple of smaller ones. There you go. You don't want to necessarily make them looking even and perfect. These are flowers, and they're supposed to they're supposed to be you know, not be perfect. Let's go up here to the top. I don't know if my light's gonna get up there. I'm going to continue to go around and I'm going to show you um, what it all looks like. TTFN! Alrighty, so I'm all done. Um, I decided to go uh, for the leaves um, and because the color was a lot darker than I thought, um, I decided to just do a minimal amount of leaves and then I've gone ahead and with the tip of my brush, the, the, not the tip, the tip of the handle of my brush, made just small white dots in the center. So I'll just walk you around what they look like. I didn't really try to make it look like any particular type of flower that exists in nature. Just basically like a floral, a floral pattern. I also didn't try to necessarily, you know, match them and make them all look identical. So I'm just waiting for this to thoroughly dry. There's the, the headboard. And then I'll put uh, Ozzyandra back in there along with all of her bedding. But uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to uh, paint flowers. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. TTFN, ta-ta for now.